Hey everybody, Weston St. Clair. I'm the uh, ground maintenance supervisor out here on the DPS headquarters. Well, this complex is approximately 63 acres and he is responsible for everything related to grounds. Mowing, weeding, trimming, um, hedging. I take pride in this place and try to keep it clean like it's my own house. He's very helpful as a boss and he, he treats me really nice. Like he, he's, he's very comfortable to be around. Every day I try to go out of my way to be the best at everything I do. And I look at somebody like Weston St. Clair who was cast aside by a number of other um, employers where they couldn't see past his disability. He sets the example for somebody that has a lot of talent, um, a lot of intelligence, job knowledge, uh, things that he can bring to the table for us. His work ethic is exemplary and his attitude is very positive all the time. It's hard to believe that two years ago he was, he was lying in a coma uh, with his body battered and wondering whether he was going to walk again. And here he is taking care of a 60-acre campus. Driving down in Harrison Mill, guy hit me in the back of the truck, spun me off the side of the road and wrapped my truck around a telephone pole. I broke both my legs from the knees down in multiple spots. I broke my pelvis in four different spots in the front, the back and the sides, and then broke my face 18 spots from my eyes down to the bottom of my chin. So I was pretty broken up. I, I spent 21 days in, in the hospital in ICU. The doctors uh, told me I, I was going to be in a wheelchair for a year. And yeah, you know, it's gonna be hard for me to start walking on my, on my leg and getting used to my foot drop. When I heard that, it, it made me mad. It made me furious that I wasn't gonna be back on my feet. I didn't have money for physical therapy. So all the physical therapy I did was learning off of Google or in, in YouTube. And within five months, I was up and walking on a walker and then walking on a cane. Weston represents the, the best of what it is that EPSI has to offer. But he has taken an active role in educating himself, obtaining certifications, and becoming even more knowledgeable. And he's currently an arborist trainee now, and he will be certified by November. Through TIBH and the partnership with EPSI, this particular situation has absolutely been a win-win, I believe, for all three parties. And we're looking forward to continuing that relationship into the future. When I got here, there wasn't really any mapping or anything. So what I did was I went on Google Maps and uh, took a screenshot of the actual property from satellite view and sectioned out per section different parts of the DPS property so that would be more efficient in identifying what buildings we're gonna be at. When we picked up another contract in a different location um, a few months later, I asked Weston if he would accompany me down there to take a look at the grounds and he is able to look at the grounds and know immediately everything from the irrigation system to the way the trees should be cut to um, how to care for different flowers or a variety of different plants. I see Weston as a operations manager. I would like to get him out from behind the mower, helping our grounds maintenance operations grow. Uh, you know, this, this whole thing, it, it's, it was a lot in my life. It, was, it hit me hard. Um, I just look at my son and <laughs> that gives me the fire to keep going, you know, and that's every day. He's, he's my hero, you know, and that's, that's my everything. And that's why I come out here, keep going and keep going and keep going because I got to set an example for him. He's really, really tough because he's kind of like a superhero. It's just like Iron Man, but real superpowers. Always make sure we say uh, we love each other. You never know what could happen. We love you, son. Love you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.